Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to tell you everything that I know about cows in Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life. First, let's talk about the basics. You're going to want to milk your cow twice a day, and you're going to need to feed your cow twice a day. If your cow is inside, then you can see here there's room for two pieces of fodder. If they're outside, they're still going to eat two pieces of grass. This grass, you can plant it yourself by planting fertilizer. You can just take some fertilizer and put it right on the ground, and it's going to grow into long grass. How much milk are you going to get at once? Well, there's actually three different things that can affect how much milk the cow gives you. The first one is actually the season. In spring and fall, when it's not too hot or too cold, it's going to give you six bottles a day. So three in the morning and then three in the afternoon. However, during the summer and the winter, it's either too hot or too cold, and so it's only going to give you two at a time. The other two points that affect the amount that you're going to get, I'm going to talk about later in the video. First, I want to talk about the quality. Now, the quality of the milk, it depends on two things, both their heart level, which is their friendship level with you, and their health meter. What you're going to want to do is always try to keep their health meter above 80%. If it drops below 80%, then this chart is not going to work. However, if it's 80% or more, then you can follow this chart here. If it's zero to two hearts, it's only going to give you C quality milk. Two to six, B, 6 to 7, A, 8 to 9, S, and if it's up to 10 hearts, then there's a 10% chance that it's going to be SS milk. How can you get this heart level up as fast as you can? Well, every day you can snuggle them, talk to them, milk them, and you can brush them. So if you do all four of these things twice a day, then their heart level is going to go up very quickly. Another thing you're not going to want to do is leave them outside when it's raining. So if it's raining, you can put them inside, but if it's not, you can just leave them outside. Now let's do some math in. First, let's look at normal cows. You can buy a female cow for 5,000 or a male cow for 2,500. You can also sell them for half of that price. Then if we look at the milk, it goes from 100, 125, 150 to 275. I didn't put C quality milk on here because you can't sell it in your shipping bin. If you go to van, you can sell it to them for 10 gold, but yeah, it's not worth very much at all. Anyway, if you do B, A, S, or S, S, you can also change it into butter or cheese, and you make a lot more money when you turn it into butter or cheese. So if you have a normal cow, you're going to want to turn it into butter or cheese if you're able to. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Next, we have marble cows. You can buy the female for 20000 or the male for 10000 And then again, it's just half price to sell them. This one is very interesting, though, because you can see the milk. The B starts out at 175 And if you just change the B quality milk into butter, it's just going to be the same as normal milk. So you will make a little bit more money, but it's just 205 However, if you take marble milk and you make it into cheese, it's actually going to go up a level. So if you have B quality milk, you can turn it into A quality cheese. Then you can see this chart here. It works from B, A, and S. But then obviously once you get to S, S, um, yeah, it can't go any higher than S, S. So it just stays S, S. So if you have a marble cow, the strategy is to always turn it into cheese. If you always turn it into cheese, you're not going to lose any money. Now let's look at the brown cow. The brown cow is actually the opposite of marble. You can see here that it costs the same amount of money to buy a male and a female. And the milk, it's always the same price. However, instead of doing cheese, what you're going to want to do is butter. Because you can see here, if you take B quality milk and you turn it into butter, it's actually going to become A quality butter. And then again, that works all the way up through S. Then when you get to SS, it doesn't matter because they're not able to go any higher than SS. So if you have a marble cow, you're going to want to turn everything into cheese. If you have a brown cow, you're going to want to turn everything into butter. And last, we have star cows. You can buy them for 50000 the female, or 25000 for a male. With this cow, you're not going to want to turn any of its milk into butter or cheese because you're always going to lose money. <laughs> so with normal cows, you're going to want to change everything into butter or cheese. It doesn't matter which one. But with star, you're not going to want to do any of that. Just leave it as milk and you'll make more money. So there's a bit of strategy with the cheese and milk maker, but I don't know. Personally, I find it really funny that <laughs> star cows, you make more money just selling the milk than you ever would with cheese or 
butter. So it kind of makes me wonder, like, what's the point of the milk and cheese maker? <laughs> I mean, I guess you could use it if you just want to make your farm full of normal cows and then turn that into butter and cheese. But yeah, if you have star cows, you're not going to want to use cheese and butter at all. So I think the two strategies are number one, if you're lazy, you could just keep your normal cow that you start with and then just fill your barn up with normal cows then you can always use those to make butter and cheese, it doesn't matter which, and then you can make a lot of money. The other option is to just not even bother with cheese and butter, just get star cows and just have your barn full of cows. That brings us to breeding. Before we get into the breeding process, I just want to say that this is how it determines what its breed will be. Obviously, if you have two normal cows and they breed, their offspring is going to be a normal cow. Same with star. If they're both star, it's going to be a star again. However, if the mom and the dad are different breeds, it's going to be a 60% chance that it's going to be the same type as the mom, and then a 40% chance that it's going to be the dad. So, for example, if you take a normal female cow and a star male, then there's going to be a 60% chance that the baby is normal and a 40% chance that the baby is going to be a star cow. When it comes to breeding, there's actually three ways to do it. The first way is to just rent a bull from town. And then if you do this, Takakuda, he'll just go to town. He'll bring home a male bull. They'll do their thing and then your cow will be pregnant. The second option is to get a bull yourself. If you do this, the bull is going to stay on your farm. He won't be able to give you milk, <laughs> so he's kind of taking up some space. However, if you just have that one bull, you could get as many female cows pregnant as you would like. If you decide to get a bull on your own, then there's actually two ways that you can get your cows pregnant. So if there's a bull on your farm, there's always a relatively low chance that he could get any of the female cows pregnant. So every day there's going to be a chance for one of them to be impregnated. Another thing is that you can talk to Takakuda and have Takakuda mate your two cows. So if you do that, then your cow will definitely mate with the bull. Breeding, it takes 8 to 12 days. So once your cow gets pregnant, it's kind of random how long it's going to take before it has the baby. It could be only eight days or it could be a maximum of 12 days. Having a baby changes the milk that the cow gives you. For the first three days after it gives birth, it's going to be giving you mama's milk. Now this milk, you can give it to the calf and you know it'll be happy you can also sell it but you can't sell it in the bin but you can sell it to van for a hundred you can also turn it into cheese or butter and get 125. <laughs> um, i'm not really quite sure why they even made it sellable um i mean it's kind of cute to see the animation of you feeding the baby calf but other than that um yeah mama's milk it doesn't really have much of a use in this game there's going to be an additional bonus Remember, based on the season, the cow could give you six bottles a day or four bottles a day. Well, after it gives birth, it's actually going to give you more milk bottles. Days four through seven is going to give you two additional milk each time you milk it. And eight to 20, it's going to give you one additional milk each time that you milk it. At the beginning of today's video, I had said that there were three factors that affected how many bottles of milk you get each time you milk your cow. Well, we talked about one is seasons. This was the second one, which is whether or not the cow has recently given birth. And then the third thing that can affect the number of milk bottles you have is just that the first cow that you get, he's going to be a special cow. So he might occasionally give you extra bottles of milk when you milk him. So if you see the numbers that I've given you and you compare it to your first normal cow, then you might think, oh, I think he was wrong here. Well, it's actually that the first cow that you get is a special case and he has a special chance to give you extra milk. And that about wraps it up for today's video. If you have any more questions about cows, you can let me know in the comments down below. Also, if there's another video that you would like to see, you can also let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to make a video based on that. The next video I'm going to be focusing on is about children and their careers. I've gotten a few requests to make a video like that. So the next video is going to be about how to unlock the six different endings in A Wonderful Life. 
don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time.